yes, yes, of course, it's extremely simple. Um, we go back uh, to the sharecropping economy because uh, Chianti is a very old wine region, at the same time it's a very young wine region. Because wine, uh, yes, is the expression of the soil, is the expression of the climate, is the expression of, of the variety, is the expression of the people and the social structure of where the wine is consumed. So we cannot compare a global world as it is today with uh, the very local sharecropping economy of uh, only 50 years ago. So the sharecroppers, what did they need? They need volume because they had to split what they produced with the estate. They needed wine was a beverage for them. So why to age the wine? <laughs> uh, they used to put water in the wine to have the water to have to have the wine light and the, the water acid. Coca-Cola is acid. In a hot summer day when you go and work uh, at five o'clock in the morning. At nine o'clock you stop uh, and you make breakfast with salami, with cheese, pecorino cheese and whatever, and you drink wine, uh, but you're, you're working. So the wine they used to drink was uh, one third uh, very acidic wine added with water. The result is very uh, a water, uh, a water which has some alcohol, which has acidity and which takes the, your third in a hot day. So this is where where we come. At the same time, it was Chianti a good quality. There is the great reserve, the, the, the wine houses, the big merchants were sporting. Yeah? But think of the first appellation. The first appellation was set looking at the wines of the sharecroppers. So they required up to 30% white grapes. At the same time, the first appellation permitted, they were protected the appellation and they permitted the 15% blend with wine from outside. So what do you protect? And you permit the, the blend, with, which means the wine from outside was wine from the south of Italy. So the wine produced by the vineyards, by the sharecroppers, was very light. The wine uh, which was bottled and shipped uh, was blended with something just to make it a little bigger, <laughs> which at the same time was... Uh, uh, I don't want to be misunderstood. I mean, it's just a history which has be beautiful history. The sharecroppers shaped the area. When you see these beautiful farmhouses, uh, the, bought by the Swiss, the German, the Dutch, the British, the Americans, uh, they were the sharecroppers who were breaking uh, the rocks uh, to make the stone walls, uh, to make uh, the production where it's impossible to produce. So, thanks. Uh, but they needed uh, what was useful for them. beautiful Trebbiano, but you have to select the good ones. The good ones you don't get big clusters, you don't get a lot of.